Right now I'm just cleaning the sole, the dead sole out of his foot. And then I'm gonna trim his nail. And then we're gonna attach a chute to his nail, basically, to his wall. What would be the nail on a person would be considered the wall on a horse. A horse's hoof. So now we're gonna rasp it flat. After we trim the wall down, we're gonna get it flat so that we have a flat surface to attach the chute to. As long as folks figure their horses need shoes, there's been a demand for a farrier. Eric Thomas is part of a tradition. He was the apprentice of a farrier. The main thing I was just trying to do was uh, get my horses shot, and then I got to thinking that I met a guy that was really good to apprentice with, and and he was older, and I didn't want to lose I didn't want to lose that art, and so I started out doing that. And after three decades, he's passing his knowledge on to his apprentice. And taking care of the horses, you're going to take care of the people. So it's always good to watch that horse walk out better and sounder than he was whenever he came in. We have students today here trying out for the equestrian team. The university has got an outstanding program. They've been nationally competitive for um, almost two decades now. The more we ask our horses to do certain things, whether it's reining or cutting or racing, um, or whether it's trail riding down in Potter Canyon, uh, the value uh, of a good farrier and a good shoeing job is uh, just immeasurable. The delivery guy a lot of times was the blacksmith and the and the farrier at the time and and even that was kind of your a lot of those guys were basically your first veterinarians. At this level business generally comes through word of mouth so folks are happy when they find a good farrier. Two friends of mine had uh, been getting Eric to shoe theirs and I liked the way the farrier was so I decided I would uh, give him a try. Well we've been coming here to Eric for I guess maybe 10 months or so and he's kind of straighten out his feet because it's so important to have a good farrier to keep your horse's feet healthy. So it's imperative that the, the foot is kept balanced and farriers can do that. Not only do they know how to trim a foot, they understand the conformation of the horse um, and therefore can keep that foot and correct the balance. What you got to remember is that horse is a live animal and you're trying to help him. You want to do the best job you can for him because he's the one that has to walk on those feet. Celebrating the Panhandle Spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC 7 News.